Ann McKinnon here. I'm going to be filming a video of great affordable white musk fragrances that are perfect for the heat of summer. Uh, these are all scents that I have personally tried and really enjoy. <clears throat> musk uh, is one of my, it, no it actually is, my absolute favorite note in perfumery. So I wear these uh, frequently. So I have a large collection and I'm going to be filming 15 of them today. So I'm going to go through each one individually, but briefly. If you're interested in a full review of any of these, please let me know down in the comments. So I'm going to get started. First fragrance I have here is Estee Lauder Pleasures. You can see the name of it there. This is the OG Pleasures perfume from 1995. It's a white floral, it has some soft green notes, but it has a dry, woody, musky dry down. It's not sweet, it's very dry, and so it performs beautifully in the heat. It's long-lasting, moderate sillage, and it's absolutely beautiful. And because it's been around a while, it is uh, available easily under $50 if you're looking at discounted sites. Next, I have a tester bottle of Alfred Sung Shi, S-H-I. This is a very well-known fragrance in the fragrance community. Um, this is uh, from 2000. It's heavy water lily in the top. It has a beautiful birch leaf, white musk dry down. It has moderate performance, I'd say, I, in, the, in the heat. Now, I'm talking heat now. Four to six hours, moderate sillage. It also has a bit of a citrus, aquatic, watery kind of quality to it, especially at the start. Uh, it, and it's a little sharp and soapy in the opening, and it dries down. Sometimes I almost get the feeling of a shampoo like quality to it, but primarily what you get here with this fragrance is a really good performing white musk. Highly recommend. Next I have... This is... Noah, N O A, Noah by Casherel. Um, I'm not sure why this doesn't get a little more love in the fragrance community. It's a very unique scent. Uh, it reminds me a lot of a, a molecule kind of scent in that it's a white floral musk, but it's got a real woody, ambery kind of musky dry down. So it's very unique in that way. I don't have anything else quite like this. That woody ambery quality in the dry down makes it a little warmer but yet it's not inappropriate at all for summer in fact I think it's perfect for summer I was wearing this outside in the heat the other day and I just kept getting these blasts of this warm amber scent it's absolutely beautiful I always think of this as a, it's a very fresh soft innocent and clear kind of a scent uh, it's whispery, transparent. It's just a masterpiece, in my opinion. And it's um, Cacherelle makes is known for their uh, well-made, well, good performing fragrances. And I, if you haven't tried this, uh, I highly recommend give it a try. Next up, I have this is Paul Sebastian Casual. Again, this you can see the name on there, Casual. Casual. Um, this is a tester bottle, so I don't have a cap. This fragrance is uh, came out in 1995. Just like it says, it's made for casual daytime wear. It's a white floral, fresh musk. It also has a light vanilla note that's not um, very prominent. Lasts a good four to six hours, moderate sillage. It's very similar to J.Lo Glow, which is the next fragrance I'm going to cover. It has a water, watery lily of the valley, but the dry down is just a transparent, powdery white musk. Really nice, very affordable. Uh, I really like this one, uh, just for any occasion, really. Next up, like I said, I have J.Lo Glow. This is very well known, so I'm only going to touch on it very briefly. This is a soapy, clean white musk. It's very sparkling in the opening. A lot of people compare it to hairspray. I don't think it smells like hairspray. I think it smells like a clean white musk, but in the very best way. And um, this one actually performs quite well, four to six hours, maybe a little less in the heat, but beautiful, beautiful fragrance. 
Next up, I have one from Elizabeth Arden. This one is called True Love. This one is very affordable. It came out in 1994. It's a powdery iris in the opening with a white, soapy, musky dry down. The florals include Lily of the Valley and Rose. Lasts a good six to eight hours, has a moderate to mild sillage, and it's been compared to Lancome Poem. Uh, really hidden gem. Beautiful, cheapy. You can get this for probably under $15 for a big 100ml uh, bottle, and I have a backup to this one. That's how much I love it. Next up, I have another tester bottle. This one is Paris Hilton's Just Me. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the name on there, Just Me. This is a lot like what you would think it would be from a celebrity fragrance. This one came out in 2005. It's a woody, powdery white musk. It does have a pink pepper note in the top, sandalwood, musk dry down, three to four hour duration. It's a fresh floral, fresh, fresh, excuse me, fresh floral powdery musk. It's slightly preppy, I might uh, describe it as. Very clean, very nice, um, very inexpensive. Well worth a try for a summer. This would be perfect for taking on a vacation and using up the whole bottle over a long weekend. That's really what I buy these fragrances for. Next up, I have a Oscar de la Renta fragrance. This one is called Rosamore. If you can see, R-O-S-A-M-O-R. Uh, this I looked this up on Fran for Grantica. It's got lots of notes, but I'm telling you, the only thing I get when I wear this is rose in the top and white musk in the dry down. That's it. And in fact, I would say the white musk is a stronger note than the rose, but it's really, really pretty. Beautiful fragrance. I wish it lasted longer. It's really four hours max, and it has an intimate sillage. So it's really good for perfume-free zones. If you're not allowed to wear perfume, this one could be worn very safely. Uh, it's very inexpensive. I think I paid $14 or $13 for a full 100 ml. Um, but it's not a great performer, but it really is pretty. Next perfume I have. This is Burberry R Brit Rhythm. And I have barely anything left in this bottle. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. When I first bought this, I bought it blind buy, um, I didn't like it because that pink pepper is so dominant. In fact, I would say that the pink pepper in this one is more dominant than the white musk. But those are the only two notes. It has a whole bunch of florals in there, but all I get, I'm telling you when I wear this, is white musk and pink pepper. That's it. It's not powdery. It's actually very kind of sharp, dry, uh, but boy does it perform beautifully. Eight plus hours, uh, moderate sillage. Uh, like I said, when I first got this, I did not like it, but now I really love it and I'm planning to buy, I'm going to go through this really quickly and I plan to buy another one very soon. Next I have... This is a, I've never heard this one discussed uh, at all on YouTube. This is by a house called Byblos, B-Y-B-L-O-S, and this is just Byblos Musk. This is a Greek house. This bottle, I believe, cost around $12, and it is just a one-note fragrance. It's just a powdery white musk, that's it. It's very dry, it's a little sharp in the opening, but it's got a really nice, uh, white musk dry down. It does maybe have a touch of bergamot when you first spray it, but that goes away quickly and then you're just left with this white musk. This is extremely unisex. It lasts a good six to eight hours. It's very linear, but it's never overwhelming. And I would say the best place for the use of this fragrance is in extreme heat. For instance, if I were to go to Greece, the Greek Isles, Rome in the summer, this is the one fragrance I would bring. It absolutely performs. It's like it was made for extreme heat. And uh, you can pick this up on YouTube. No, I'm sorry, on eBay. Um, I think I paid it somewhere in the teens for this. Uh, really nice 
pure white musk, great for high heat. Next up, this is a real, another real cheapie. This one is by Al Rehab. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. And this one's just called White Musk. And this is just a pure one note white musk. I don't get any florals. There's nothing in the opening. I don't get aldehydes. It is just a crisp ironed shirt kind of musk. It doesn't smell like linen. doesn't smell like soap. It doesn't smell like hairspray. It is just pure. It's the purest white musk I have ever worn. And it's really nice. Small little bottle like this you can get for under $10. Perfect for vacations. Um, and I plan to get a couple of backup bottles for this. Really recommend that one. Like I said, perfect. And I've taken that one on vacation. Next, this one is another celebrity fragrance. This one is called Pitbull Miami. Can you see the name there down at the bottom? Pitbull Miami. This one was made, it was supposed to replicate the fresh aquatic notes of a Miami beach. Uh, this came out in 2015. It has a little lemony, melon kind of notes on the top and notes of blue lotus with a musky, watery, tropical dry down. It's a great beach scent, somewhat aquatic, but I would say the musk for me overtakes the aquatic. Uh, very nice, like I said, I bought this in a small little bottle with the intention on bringing this on vacation if I ever get to go on one, because I bought this pre-lockdown. Pre <laughs> so next up, I have another cheapie. Like I said, I really um, am going to be covering some affordable perfumes here. This one is Charlie White. I looked this up on Fragrantica, and I think the notes on there are wrong. It's really supposed to be a white, fruity floral. I don't get any fruits when I spray this. To me, this is a, a kind of a blended, fresh, aquatic white musk. Uh, it, it has a watermelon note, according to Fragrantica. Man, I do not smell any watermelon. Um, it, it lasts about four to six hours. It's very inexpensive. I think I paid $7 for this on eBay. But it's actually really pretty. And I would put this right up against Burberry Brit. I mean, I mean that. It's, it's just as pretty. I am not someone who would poo-poo anything just because it's inexpensive. In fact, I have more respect for this because it's inexpensive and because... It performs as well as some of these more expensive fragrances, and it smells beautiful. So I am not above wearing these cheapies, um, and I love overspring. So for me, this is an even better deal than um, some very expensive designer perfumes. All right, and I have two more. Next up is Elizabeth Taylor Sparkling White Diamonds. This also has a whole bunch of floral notes and I don't smell any of them. When I spray this on, it's rose. It's a beautiful, mild, not a rose petal, it's a rose, like the whole rose flower, a little artificial on the rose, but it's rose in the opening and white musk in the dry down. It's a little soapy. This one leans soapy, clean, shampooy, but I love that sort of thing. So if you like that sort of thing, you may want to check this one out. It's also very inexpensive, and this performs beautifully. Uh, I'd say six plus hours. Absolutely gorgeous scent. And I have one left. And I could say I'm saving the best for last. I'm not sure if I like this one the best, but it is really nice. This is Banana Republic. You can see down here it says Banana Republic W. And I believe the W stands for woman, but I'm not 100% sure on that. This is a 1995 white floral citrus uh, scent in the opening with a beautiful powdery musk dry down. I would describe this as preppy, pretty, watery, and clean. And it performs like a beast. I would say of all of the ones mm -hmm. I presented here, None of them are really horrible performing. I mean, I have a lot worse, and I've tried a lot worse, but this one has got to be the best. Uh, that one, This one in Burberry Brit Rhythm, I would say if you spray this on before bed, you'll still smell it in the morning. Uh, and it performs well in the heat. Really pretty. 
Um, I'd say of all of these fragrances, this one might be the most expensive. I probably paid 35 30 35 something like that for this. But well worth it. Really, really nice. And that's a full 100ml bottle. So these are the White Musk Summer fragrances that are um, really budget-friendly that I have for you. If you have others, I would love to hear about it. So please leave that in the comments because I'm always looking for new fragrances like this. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.